हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज अशोक दिस वीडियो इज द पार्ट ऑफ कोकाडो बेसिक सीरीज इन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड टू वीडियोज एंड देर आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल द बेसिक अबाउट कोपाडो लाइक वाट इज कोपाडो वाई वी रिक्वायर कोपाडो हाउ यू कैन गेट स्टार्टेड विथ कोपाडो हाउ यू कैन गेट फ्री वाउचर फॉर सर्टिफिकेशन एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट प्ले ग्राउंड फॉर लर्निंग एंड ट्रेनिंग पर्पज so if you have not watched my previous videos then please watch those videos first and you can find link in the description or on the top of your screen all right so in today's video i will walk you through the copado org and will show you how copado org looks like and we will discuss all the important terms in the copado so let's start today's video in last video i have created a playground So let me open the playground detail page. Here we can see all the orgs those are created for this playground, and this is the Copado org. Means in this org, Copado package has been installed. So all the Copado related activities we will do from here only. And below these are the Scratch orgs for our development and deployment, and this is all about for our testing and learning purpose. in real time project we don't need any playground there we need to follow different approach that we will discuss sometime in future videos so let me open this copado org here let me show you the installed copado package in the org so let me open the setup and go to the installed packages so here you can see this copado deployer is the copado package so let me click on this so here you can see details related to copado package like version number version name allowed licenses user licenses and in this package we will get 12 apps and 75 tabs and 128 objects so all these details you can see over here and to see all the available components in this uh, package you can click on this view components so here you can see all the components available in this package like validation rules custom fields apex classes objects and fields everything uh, that is the part of this component okay so let me go back to my copado org now let me click on app launcher here if you will type copado then here we have multiple apps so as per your requirement you can select whichever app you want to open and in real time project you might not get all these apps maybe you will get only few apps as per your role and permissions like if you are a developer then you might be assigned only copado developer app so for now let me click on copado developer app let me add few more tabs here okay now i have added all the important tabs in correct order so let's start discussing one by one first we have credentials so we can say credentials represents a user connection to an environment and copado will use these credentials to fetch and create metadata in salesforce orgs or we can say credentials are the bridge between our salesforce org and copado orgs so we should create credentials with the user who has system administrator kind of permissions so copado can do communication without any permission issues and in that sale we can say salesforce org user is equals to credentials in copado and how we can create these credentials so for non salesforce pipeline first we need to create environment an environment we will discuss in next slide and non salesforce pipeline means mulesoft and heroku and if we talk about the salesforce pipeline in that case 
we need to create an authenticate user with the OAuth tool. So let's see how you can create credentials. So all these credentials are automatically created by Copado while setting up our playground. But in our production environment, we won't get any pre-configured credentials. So over there, we need to create by ourselves. So for that, you can click on new button over here. Here we need to give the name of credential. So let me type the name test 001. So here we have multiple org types like production and developer, sandbox and custom domains. For now, I'll go with the production and developer because I will connect my developer account to the Copado. And if I have to connect my sandbox account, in that case, I can select sandbox over here. And directly I'll click on the save button. Now new credentials has been created. The second step is we need to provide the authentication. So for that, let me click on this authenticate button. And it will open a new tab and over here we need to provide the credentials for our Salesforce org. So I have entered my credentials and clicked on login button. And here Salesforce asking for access. So we need to click on allow. And it will automatically redirect back us to on the credentials screen. Now let me close this and let me refresh this one. Now you can see Salesforce details here like username and profile name and even Salesforce org ID as well. Okay. So to create credentials, we need to perform two steps. First, we need to create credential record. Second, we need to authenticate that record with the Salesforce user. Now, next we have environments. So we can say an environment in Copado is a representation of a Salesforce org. Like we used to have multiple orgs for a single project like developer orgs, UAT orgs, integration orgs and production orgs. So we need to connect each org as an environment in Copado. So Copado can perform the operations. So in that cell, we can say each Salesforce org is equals to environments in Copado. Like if we have four uh, Salesforce orgs in our application, then we need to create four environments over here. And how we can create environments? For Salesforce pipeline, we need to create credentials and authenticate them. Then Copado will automatically create new environment for that. Like they will get Salesforce org ID and name of the org from our credentials and they will create environment record from there only. Now let me show you that. So if you will see over here, you can see like this is the org ID. Uh, this is the environment. So if I will click on this test 001. So you can see over here, Copado directly added a new environment as well for that same credential. Okay. Next we have user story. So we can say a user story is the smallest unit of work in agile framework. And you know when we work with the agile framework in that case we used to have everything in the user stories related to new implementation or bug fixes like what we need to do and where we need to do everything and copado has their built-in objects to support agile framework like here we can create projects epics releases and user stories as well and copado also provide integration between third-party agile softwares like jira azure devops and many others to pull user storage and other agile related details like projects, epics and sprints. And we can also schedule this integration to sync data periodically. And Copado support two-way communication with Jira and Azure DevOps. Like when anything gets changed in Jira on user story, in that case that change will automatically get updated into Copado. And anything will get changed into Copado, in that case the updates will uh, send to the Jira as well. So in Copado, a user story is used as a container object to develop, commit, promote and deploy development work like metadata, Apex classes and everything. So in simple words, we can say in Copado, anything that will move from here to there, I mean from one environment to another environment that we will do using the user story. Means every metadata and every Apex classes that we want to move from one environment to another environment, we need to map that with the user story. And it also helps track and uh, link additional functionalities like use cases, test runs and quality gates to it. 
means in Copedo on the user story level we can run like we can define the test and we can define the quality gates and everything so let me show you in the org how and where you can find the user stories so this is the tab for the user stories so let me open this so here you can see all the created user stories so now let me click on new so here we need to give the meaningful title and here we need to provide a project like in which project this user story will be developed so as of now we have copedo playground is the project so let me select this one and there are lots of other fields also available but these all are optional and here you can give the acceptance criteria for this user story and the functional specifications and technical specifications and here you need to provide the credentials credential means where it will be developed like in day one day two and in which org will develop it so here we need to select that org so whenever we are going to create a user story in that case three things are required title project and credentials project is directly related to the pipeline and credential is directly related to the org so these three things are required whenever we are going to create user story so there are lots of other things but these three things are required we will see all these things later on in future videos so this is how you can create new user story in next video i will create a new user story and will show you how you can deploy that user story from one environment to another environment okay now next we have pipeline so we can say a pipeline is a unidirectional flow that defines the order in which changes will be migrated in other words we can say with the help of pipeline we can organize our salesforce environments into a flow in which we want to move our changes from one environment to another environment and generally we define the order from lower environments to upper environments means from development orgs to production orgs so let me show you a pipeline in the org so let me click on this more button and this is the pipeline so when we create this playground in that case copedo already created a default pipeline for us so let me open this pipeline so here you can see the name of pipeline and this is active and you can see the platform like it is based on salesforce platform or non salesforce in non salesforce copedo support mulesoft and heroku and pipeline directly connected with our git repository so we can define our git repository here or uh, we can also define the main branch of git over here and there are lots of other options available and the most important thing is the pipeline connections so we can say when we create different environments in our pipeline like day 1 day 2 uat and production so pipeline connections are used to establish the connection between those environments like in pipeline connections we can define who will be the source environment and who will be the destination environment along with the git branch i will show you these connections in the pipeline manager but the thing is whatever salesforce orgs you have in your development life cycle those orgs you need to add in copedo as a environment and you need to add them into pipelines with the help of pipeline connections okay next we have pipeline manager so we can say pipeline manager is the visual representation of our pipeline and this shows how your user stories and jira tickets will move throughout the development life cycle and from this single screen we can also perform many operations like promotions and bake promotions also so let me show you pipeline manager in the org this is the tab for pipeline manager so this is the pipeline manager page and here you can see the selected pipeline and if you will have multiple pipelines in that case you will have all those here and you can select so we can say this pipeline manager screen is the visual representation of pipeline like in this pipeline we have these five orgs like day 1 day 2 hotfix uat and production and how changes will flow like whenever we will made any change in the day 1 that will be proceed to the uat once we will deploy and day 2 is also connected to the uat and uat is directly connected with the production 
so with the help of pipeline manager we can clearly visualize like how our changes and where our changes will be deployed and here also we can see like how many user stories are pending to promote and how many user stories are pending to back promote and everything we will discuss more on this in next video with the practical examples next we have promotions so we can say a promotion is a container used to deploy one or multiple user stories from one environment to another and corpedo creates a promotion branch which will be used to deploy the metadata changes into the destination environment in other words we can say whenever we are going to deploy our changes with the help of corpedo then corpedo will create a promotion record and promotion branch including all the selected user stories metadata and code and that will be used to deploy the changes to the another environments and we can say promotion branch is the exact copy of destination branch and corpedo will merge all the user stories metadata changes with that promotion branch by doing that corpedo will make sure like there is no impact on the destination branch next we have deployments so we can say deployment in corpedo is the process of moving one or multiple changes from one environment to another environment and deployments getting created from promotions so whatever code and metadata we have in that promotion that will be deployed using the deployments in corpedo and with the help of this deployment record we can do the tracking and we can check the deployment status okay so let me show you the promotion and deployments into the org so this is the promotion tab and here you will see all the created promotions and if you want to create new promotion then you can click on this new button and in next video i will show you how you can create promotions and how you can use them in deployments and if you want to see deployment tab then this is here and this is also we will see in the next video okay so that's it for this video and next video will be the full practical video in which i will cover like how you can deploy your changes from development to production and we will see each and everything in practical so please like this video and subscribe my youtube channel and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video